actually feel like a baseball umpire. Super cute. Look at those squish kitties. Look at that. I did get selected. Hey friends, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenna. I love to crochet plushies. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. For today's video, I'm super excited because we are going to be finishing my cat sweater costume. Woo! I actually went ahead and finished the sweater. I really wasn't sure if I would hold myself accountable and finish it, but I did. And exciting news, I may or may not have went on the game show, but more details about that to come. I'm really excited to show you guys how the sweater turned out. So without further ado, let's jump into today's video. Good morning, friends. Happy September 1st. Fall is right around the corner. It's basically here now that we're going into September and I'm so excited. I'm so over summer heat. And I actually went out and celebrated the first day of September by getting a nice little fall drink at Starbucks. This is their chai pumpkin or pumpkin cream chai. I actually got this drink for free because I think someone like messed up their order and they had this to give away and I was just the next person in line. So I'm like, yeah, I'll try it. And it's actually really good. So I have my little Starbucks drink and look what I'm working on today. We are back to making the little loaf cats. This kitty actually reminds me of like peanut butter for some reason. I think I'll name him peanut butter just because like the brown body. Usually I make the calico with white, but I wanted to switch it up and the brown is looking really cute. I was also thinking about my costume that I wanna make. So far, no updates from the game show. So I think I did not get chosen, but it's fine. We're still gonna finish this project because I want the crazy cat lady sweater for my Halloween costume. So I know originally I said 25 cats, but I think realistically I don't have to make that many because I'm like visualizing it and I think 25 cats would be too much. And I don't know, we'll see. But I think so far I have so far I have nine. I think if we get to 15, that should suffice. And then we can start making the sweater. And then if needed, I can always make more cats afterwards. But I really wanna like get started on the sweater just to make sure I have enough time. It's September 1st. Halloween is at the end of October, so we definitely have enough time to make the sweater and finish this project, but I have to stay on track with it. So today I'm gonna see how many loaf cats I can get done and I'll check back in with you guys. Also on another note, I've been feeling like my hair has been falling out a lot recently and I feel like I always say this, like anyone who knows me knows I talk about how my hair falls out, but like it's been excessive at this point. Like I try to avoid washing my hair at this point. Like I try to not wash it as frequently as I did just because every time I wash my hair like so much hair falls out and it like it makes me sad I don't like that I don't know do you guys experience that too like I know it's like normal to lose hair after you wash your hair and it's also normal to lose hair every day I think like they said you lose up to 100 strands a day but I feel like every time I run my fingers through my hair there's like all these strands coming out. It just makes me like nervous, it makes me sad. So I'm like, ah. But yeah, I just wanted to put that out there and see if anyone else experiences this. I feel like it also happens like with the seasons. Like, I don't know. I feel like I tend to shed more like towards the fall versus like in the summer. I don't even know if that's a thing though, but just put it out there. <laughs> all right, peanut butter is done. Look at him, he turned out so cute. I also gave him a little orange tail with the brown tip and then his feet are super cute like that. And look at his little chain that I gave him. Halloween colors, orange and black. So he is officially cat number 10 and we're making good progress. Five more to go. He will complete the cat pyramid. Super cute. All right, just got done cat number 11. We did this little baby. I'm calling him S'mores because he reminds me of S'mores colors. And I gave him a light blue keychain. So we're making progress. Going to be making cat number 11. I'm genuinely running out of cat ideas though in terms of the coloring. So maybe I'll do another calico. You can never go wrong with calicos. So I was going to make a calico, but then I saw the blue yarn and I was like, why don't I make a blue cat? Because why not, right? So look how cute this little guy turned out and how perfect is his matching keychain. I love how it matches the dark blue, like almost exactly. So now I have a good idea of making other fun colored cats. We don't have to be realistic all the time. So I just did blue. I think for the next three, I'm gonna do like a pink a purple and a green because I do have two different shades for each of those colors. So yeah, throw in some fun cats, but this is cat number 12. 
Hello friends, look at this cute little purple cat that I made yesterday. And I was honestly looking over at my cat stack and I feel like 15 cats might be too much. Right now, so right now I have 13 cats total. This is cat number 13. And honestly, I was like trying to plot out the cats and where I would put them on like my sweater. I think I'm good. Like I'm not gonna put any cats on the back of the sweater. And then in terms of like the front of the sweater, it's not gonna be like too crazy big. So I think 13 cats will be enough. So I'm gonna call it here. We're done making the loaf cats. And now the next thing for me to do is to go out to Michael's, get my sweater yarn, and then also decide what kind of sweater I wanna do. I've only crocheted a few sweaters in the past and I used the same pattern for like all three sweaters. Actually, no, that's a lie. For two sweaters, I use the same pattern. For the other sweater, I use a different one. But anyway, I need to decide what kind of sweater I wanna make. In the past, I really enjoyed making the raglan style sweater just because it's so easy to crochet. It's a lot of like double and triple crochets, I believe. But the only thing with that is it's like pretty gappy, like each stitch, since it is like a double and triple crochet, they're not like tight together, if that makes sense. So I would have to wear like a shirt under the sweater or else you would see through it. So I was thinking maybe I should do a different style sweater. So I'm gonna have to do some research on YouTube and find a cute little tutorial. I definitely need a video tutorial because I am not at that stage yet where I can just sit down and read a crochet sweater pattern. Like it still intimidates me. I still kind of struggle with it especially with like all the math that goes into making wearables so I'm gonna try and find a cute pattern online and then that will help me determine how much yarn I need and I'm still trying to think through like what colors I want to for the sweater I'm thinking since the cats are kind of like all different colors maybe I should just do a white sweater like I think it would be too crazy if I did the sweater like all different colors and then we have all different color cats but to be seen to be seen so now that we're in the sweater portion of this project, I feel like I definitely will be crocheting a lot on the go. Oh my gosh, Shay. <laughs> she always walks in front of the camera nowadays. Usually she's polite about it and won't walk in front of the camera, but lately she has just been walking all over my desk and stepping on my laptop. Like usually she doesn't step on the laptop either. It's like she knows not to step on it, but nowadays she doesn't care. She steps all over. But anyway, back to what I was saying, I feel like the one thing I love about crochet is that you can truly do it wherever you want. I usually stay in my office because I'm usually crocheting plushies and I need all of the supplies around me, like the stuffing, the eyes, etc. But with a crochet sweater, you can definitely crochet that anywhere. I could easily take it to the couch in the living room or crochet in the car or even go to like a cute coffee shop. In college, I used to go to coffee shops all the time to study and do work and I really miss it. So I feel like with this sweater, I should definitely go out to a coffee shop and crochet. I will say you have to be careful whenever you use free public Wi-Fi, especially when you're out and about. I personally use Surfshark to keep myself protected and they're actually the sponsor of today's video. So in case you didn't already know, Surfshark is a VPN or virtual private network that keeps your online activity safe by encrypting your personal information and allowing you to change your virtual location. So if you typically are out and about and on the go constantly, you probably connect to a lot of free public Wi-Fi, whether that be at restaurants, the airport, or even coffee shops. Surfshark will keep you safe on these unknown public Wi-Fi networks by encrypting your online data and keeping you protected. Surfshark actually has over 3,200 servers in 100 countries, so the possibilities are truly endless. And if you're a crocheter such as myself, you probably stream a lot of TV shows and movies online. And with Surfshark, you can actually get access to special movies and TV shows that aren't available in your country. So I've never watched Lord of the Rings, but I feel like I finally wanna watch it. So all I would have to do is connect to Surfshark's VPN, set the country to one of the countries where Lord of the Rings is streaming because it's not streaming here in America, and that will allow me to unlock Lord of the Rings. Surfshark also has a service called Surfshark Alert. Through this service, you'll get immediate alerts if your email address appears in breached online databases or if any other information that you have online is compromised. So secure your privacy with Surfshark. There's actually no risk to trying Surfshark as there's a 30-day money-back guarantee. Click the link down below in my description box and use the code by Jenna to get four additional months free. Thank you again Surfshark for sponsoring today's video and with that let's get back into it. Hello friends, so I went out to Michael's and I got the yarn for the cat sweater and I'm really excited to show you what yarn I got. So I ended up getting the same yarn that I've used for my previous sweaters. It is the Karen Latte Cakes 
and I stuck with my gut and decided to go with just the plain white color. I think that will make the sweater kind of like a background feel. Like I don't want the sweater to be the main focal point of the costume. So I went with white and it's this really nice fuzzy material. I have made a sweater with this exact yarn before and I actually loved how it felt. It's not itchy. You would think it's itchy because it's like fuzzy, but it's not, which is good. So it'll be comfortable. And I found a tutorial I wanted to follow as well. So I will show you guys what tutorial it is and I'll link it down below in case you also want to make your own sweater. But crossing the fingers that the sweater turns out good because I haven't made a sweater like this. This will be my first time attempting this kind of sweater. Hopefully I don't botch the sweater, but this is the last step for the cat sweater. And then once I finish the sweater, I can put the caps on and I can finally show you guys what my vision was looking like. I'm really excited because I think it'll turn out so awesome, but I really need to start crocheting the sweater because I feel like it will take me some time. So I'm gonna get crocheting. Okay, so it is this tutorial. It is by Crochet Emily and look at it. It looks so, so cute. It's honestly very similar to the raglan sweater, but it looks like the stitches are closer together, which is good. That's why I'm not making the raglan style sweater because that sweater is more loose since it uses a lot of triple crochet. So I don't want the weight of the cats like making holes in the sweater, if that makes sense. But okay, I'm gonna start the video and hopefully it turns out good. All right, so I'm finally getting started. It's the next day, but I grabbed a sweater that I want to model my sweater after. So I got this sweater from Grey Bandit and I absolutely love it. It's perfect for fall, but I like it mainly because it's like an oversized loose fit. I hate like tight sweaters and like tight clothing in general. So I am going to take the measurements of this sweater and that's what she recommends in the tutorial. So I think that's honestly smart to like model your sweater and your measurements off of a sweater that you already like. So I went ahead and got all the measurements and I think I'm ready to start. I have my yarn as well and I'm really excited to see how this comes out. I saw in her video that she's using a 4.5 millimeter hook and her yarn is definitely thicker than mine. If you see this, this is pretty like thin in my opinion. So I don't want my stitches to come out too loose, but I feel like if I size down to like a four millimeter, it'll take really long to finish this sweater. Like maybe I'll just risk it and use a five. Yeah, I think I'm gonna use a five. Also, look how cute my measuring tape is. It's a paw. I got this from a small business on Etsy, actually. I'll link it down below. Some of you guys have asked me in the past where I got this and I love it because it has one of those buttons that you push. So when you're done measuring, it just goes back to the paw. But yeah, I'll link it down below for you guys. Let's get crocheting. So I actually ended up sizing up and I'm using a six millimeter hook. And I just got done step one of the pattern. So basically I just chained a bunch to get the width of my sweater. And then from here, it's just creating a lot of rows to get it to the height of the sweater. And this sweater is worked in the panel method. So I'll be making the front panel and the back panel. So it's just a lot of crocheting. And she actually said that you can choose what stitch you wanna do, like single crochet, double, triple etc and I think triple crochet will make it too loose just from past experience so I'm going to try out double crochet but yeah look at this yarn I love it but okay I'm gonna get crocheting we got a lot of work to do all right I just got done a few rounds of the sweater and this is what it's looking like so far bad news is that I think I made my initial chain too long because I forgot that you know this yarn is very stretchy and as I crochet it definitely will like expand so initially I wanted it to be 22 inches across but now it's starting to look like 24 and I got my reference sweater right here and if I hold it against it you can see there is like this much essentially this much extra space so if I keep going at this rate, the sweater will be too oversized. So sadly, I think I have to frog this and start over, but at least I didn't get too, too far. Ay vey. I'm already missing amogurimi where there's a pattern, you know exactly how it's gonna turn out, there's no math involved. 
Ah, uh, but all right, let's frog it. <laughs> I want this sweater to turn out cute because I actually do plan on keeping the sweater and wearing it in the winter. I think just a plain white sweater is so adorable, but I can't have it being like way too oversized. So this is, this is what we are dealing with. It's fine though. It's all about the experience. <laughs> All right, so I did a few rounds. Let's see how it looks compared to the sweater. Okay, it looks good. Okay, cool. Hopefully it doesn't expand much more, but I think right now it's perfect. This is 73 stitches across if anyone is interested <laughs> but all right i'm gonna go put on a show hopefully i can get this front panel done today i'm watching the newest season of selling sunset currently i love that show so much i actually started watching selling sunset when I first got into crocheting back in January of 2022. I started with season one and then I've kept up with the seasons ever since. And I just think of it as my crochet show. Ooh, that is like a tongue twister, crochet show, because I literally started watching it when I started crocheting. I like needed a show to just put on in the background and it was honestly perfect. I love seeing all of the houses as well. The drama is like a bit too much sometimes. I do love it though, but I mainly watch for the real estate, but okay. I'll check in with you guys soon so this is the progress so far making good progress honestly it's been a few hours i do want to call out that i don't know if i'm doing the turning correctly because i feel like the sweater is still expanding for some reason and i really don't understand why maybe it's just the nature of chaining and turning but it's like expanded to around 22 inches and when I first started the initial chain was only around 19 inches so I don't know about that but luckily it is still like the width of the sweater that I've been mocking it after so I'm just hoping it doesn't expand anymore because right now this is like the perfect width but I will keep you guys updated hopefully it stays intact because I would hate to frog all of this again Okay, so sweater update. This is what it looks like on top of the mock sweater. And it honestly is looking really good. I think I need to like, I forget what that word is, but it's where you like frame the panel. Oh, block. I feel like I have to block it. I have to look up how to do that because as you can see, it kind of is like curving inward. It's not completely square, but in terms of width, it actually was maintained at like 22 inches, which is perfect. Now I still have a little ways to go for the top, but I think I'm going to start decreasing. Although I should probably start decreasing up here. This sweater, um, the one that I'm using as a guide is a bit oversized and like long on me so i think it's okay if i start decreasing now because let me show you guys i will pull this up a little it will essentially be this long now so i'm cutting out like a few inches and then i do plan on adding this ribbing so by the time we're all said and done i think it'll be more like this long which is perfectly fine to me so making good progress i'm gonna start decreasing and then we can start on the back panel Okay, friends, I officially finished the first panel. I decreased for the neckline and I even added the ribbing at the bottom. The ribbing didn't turn out as long as in the tutorial and I used the same amount of chain stitches, but it, I guess it's because my yarn is thinner. Also, I'm slightly concerned about the length because I think it's like going to be way shorter, but I think it's fine because let me show you, I'm wearing an oversized shirt, but this sweater comes down to around here. So I think that's honestly fine. It's fine. I'm just gonna keep telling myself that because I spent all day, literally all day making this, but hopefully I can get the back panel done tomorrow and it shouldn't really be that much longer because like the sleeves work up way quicker than the paneling. But yeah, I'm excited. Highly recommend this tutorial. She is great at explaining. I think her name's Emily. Emily is great at explaining, so I will definitely have it linked down below for you guys. This is my first sweater of this type and following the video tutorial is enough. It totally suffices and usually I do struggle with tutorials, so definitely appreciate Emily's instructions being like super clear. But okay, I'm gonna take a break now because my hands are about to fall off and I will check back in with you guys tomorrow. 
Hello friends, happy Monday. I wanted to come on and show you guys that I've made really good progress over the weekend. This is the second panel and I'm just getting done making the neck portion on this one side. And all that's left is to do the second neck portion over here. And then I have to add the ribbing at the bottom. So we're almost done. I did wanna come on and tell you guys though, a quick lesson learned that I've experienced so far is that when I made the first panel, I didn't like make note of how many stitches for the neckline that I like originally set out for. So that led to me going back and counting the stitches here and just like trying to use my best estimate because it's kind of hard to go back and count the stitches. Maybe it's just because I'm not used to making sweaters and panels, but it's still like kind of hard for me to differentiate like what stitches which. So I'm hoping when this second panel is done, they match, but I don't know. It definitely would have been helpful if I wrote everything down in terms of like the number of rows, the number of stitches for the neckline, how many decreases, because now I'm just like working backwards and reverse engineering it, but hopefully it's fine. So after I get done the second panel, I can actually stitch together the two panels and I can wear this sweater as like a vest and we get to then start on making the sleeve. It's coming along you guys. I'm so excited. It honestly has been really fun making this sweater I did have to run out and get another skein of the Karen latte cakes I originally bought two skeins, but one whole panel basically is an entire skein So I ran out and got a third. I don't think the sleeves will take up a whole skein I'm guessing both sleeves will equate to one skein. So hopefully all said and done this only took three skeins But we'll see I'll keep you guys posted. I definitely feel inspired though and I want to make another sweater after this and I think I want to do like a cute fall striped sweater like Emily did in the tutorial. Hers is like really cute so I think my next project just for me will be to create another striped sweater. All right, I just got done the second panel, so let's see the moment of truth if the panels line up. I'm kind of nervous, honestly, because I feel like I have to make this sweater right. I feel like the other two times I've made sweaters, I've kind of like cut corners and they weren't perfect. And I just kind of let it go and I just accepted the fact they weren't perfect. <laughs> but with this one, I want it to actually be right. And if there is a mistake, I'll go back and fix it. But, oh my gosh, wait! Guys, it looks like it matches up perfectly. Ah, okay. So the neckline matches up perfectly, which was my biggest concern. But now let's see the length. Oh my gosh, yes, perfect. The only thing that's left to do is add the ribbing to the second panel, but everything else looks like it matches up. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited, you guys. Look at that. Okay, cool. I'm gonna get started on the ribbing and then we can put it all together. I can try it on and then start the sleeves. All right, guys, I finished sewing the two panels together and this is what it's looking like. Let's try on the sweater for the first time. I'm so excited, you guys. I hope the neck is fine. Let's see. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think the neck is perfect, honestly, because I am going to be adding like a little ribbing um, around the neck. So I think that will be perfect. I can actually kind of mock it up with the t-shirt I'm wearing. So it looks like the ribbing would go just about right here. So that is perfect. And then I am wearing a really oversized t-shirt right now, but let me back up so I can show you guys. Oh my gosh, that's perfect. That's perfect length. I was scared. I made it a little too short. But no, this is perfect, you guys. And this is what it looks like from the back. Ooh, the back does look a little short, but maybe I can just like adjust where the shoulder is, yeah. So the next step, I know it's looking a little crazy right now. The next step is for me to form the armholes and sew together these two sides. So I'm trying to see where I want my armholes to go. I hate when the armhole is like too scrunched with your armpit. It really bothers me with some of my sweaters actually. So I wanna make sure I leave enough room. Probably again, using my t-shirt as a guide, maybe like right here. Oh, that looks like really uneven actually. I'll have to 
have to play around with it off camera. But yeah, I think I'm finally going to get started on the sleeves. We're almost there. I actually feel like a baseball umpire. Like, you know how they wear those vests? That's what this feels like right now. Or when you are at the dentist and you're getting x-rays done on your teeth and they make you wear that like vest. <laughs> this is what it's giving. This is giving like dentist x-ray vibes. All right, so I just got done sewing everything together. So I officially made the armholes and I sewed the sides together. So let's try it on and see if it fits okay. I'm a little nervous, but if anything, I can just frog or I guess cut the seam and redo it. But oh, okay. It actually is looking really good good and i am wearing a t-shirt under so it does feel like not snug but it doesn't feel like completely loose but i am wearing two layers so that makes sense but this is what it looks like and yeah the armholes look perfect i feel like i left just enough space for the sleeves yeah perfect i look a little crazy right now but it's okay the next and final step will be the two arms and hopefully when i come back on next it will be done and i can show you guys and then we can hang the cats on it i wanted to quickly show you guys a mock-up of the cat sweater so hopefully i can get the cats to stay facing like outward like this but i do plan on using like the chain of the keychain so they might move around and be like on their side like this but i still think it looks really cute so i'm in the process of finishing the two sleeves and then we can finally put it all together but i'm super excited for this cat sweater oh my gosh guys i just got an email from the casting director of this game show and i literally thought i was not selected because i interviewed back in july and have not heard from them since but i did get selected but the way this game show works is that you will be in the audience and it's not guaranteed that you'll actually get to play the games but that's why you have to have a really fun and cool costume because that'll get the host's attention so i'm crossing the fingers that my cat sweater will really get his attention but oh my gosh you guys i'm like freaking out this has been on my bucket list for so long i wanted to go on a game show specifically one that is like left up to chance i didn't want to like have to use my mind or anything i just wanted to roll the dice and like see what i could win so this is the exact kind of game show that i want to go on Ah! So apparently the filming date is September 25th. Right now it's September 18th and I still have to make the two sleeves for the sweater and then attach all the cats. So I need to get to work because you have to send them a picture of your costume by the 22nd. So I have a few days and I really need to prioritize the sweater now because I have been taking a break from it, honestly. Also, they mentioned that they wanted to see more cats like crawling up my leg and stuff. And I'm like, oh gosh, I do not have time for that. So I think in the interest of time, I'm going to go on Amazon and buy some like cat stuffed animals so I can like, I don't know, like sew them or like bobby pin them onto my legs and have the costume be a more like full body costume because I kind of agree with the producers like just having a sweater isn't really a costume. And then also I was looking on Amazon for some like cat ears, a cat tail. So I guess I'll be like a mix of a crazy cat lady slash wannabe cat. So yeah, hopefully it gets the producer's attention. I think though, like maybe instead of pants, I'll wear like a tutu. I'm looking at this one costume on Amazon and it's like a five piece set. So you get like the tutu, the tail, the cat ears, and like, I think like cat paws. So that could be cute. And then I'll have my sweater and yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, I'm so excited. I really hope I get selected. I really wanna make sure my costume's cool, but also this will be a great way to show off crochet in general and show them what amigurumi is. And like, yeah, I'm crossing the fingers. This would be so cool. I can't believe it. I'm honestly shocked. Hi friends, it's late at night, but I wanted to come on because I had to show you the progress with the sweater so far. I just got done the first sleeve oh my gosh look this honestly is giving me like the first look of how the sweater will like feel and look overall because up until this point i was just dealing with the front panel so now i'm actually able to see what it will look like oh my gosh you guys i was really nervous that i made the sleeve too long but it's like the perfect like oversized sleeve length and then i'm really in love with like the ribbing that i did and i really love how emily designed the pattern to have the sleeve kind of like cinch 
right here at the cuff. It just feels so professional to me. I look crazy with only the one sleeve done, but we're so close, so, so close. Just need the last sleeve and the cuff and we will be done. I like don't even want to put the cats on this sweater. Like I'm too scared to ruin it. I genuinely will wear the sweater a lot this winter. Good morning, friends. Coming on because look what I got in the mail. It is part of my costume that I plan on making because like I mentioned in the other clip or a previous clip in this video, I wanted to have my cat sweater, but then I still needed like more parts of the costume to make it actually look good. So I ordered a bunch of cat stuffed animals to hang on my skirt. And then I bought this like cat costume pack. So it comes with like a tutu, ears, a tail, and I think it'll really bring it together. I feel like I'm kind of straying away from like crazy cat lady to like a morph of crazy cat lady and a cat myself, but we'll see how it comes together. Wait, it's always so satisfying opening vacuum sealed uh, packages because they are just going to, ooh, they didn't explode, but they thought they would. Oh, here we go. Some ASMR. Look at those squished kitties. Look at that. Okay, let me try to open them. Oh my gosh. Look at them. This is so, I feel like this is a little creepy. It's like I'm actually holding like newborn kittens. Like look at this. Look at them. They're so small. It's so flat. But yeah, I basically got, I think this is a pack of 16 and it's just all different cats. So then I can just hang them on my skirt. Honestly, now looking at them though, it would be kind of cool to like hang them on the sweater, but then I think they're way too heavy for the sweater. And then I already went through all the trouble of making all those little baby loaf cats. So we'll stick to the original plan. Can't get over how squished they are. Like it's so sad. And then I'm gonna open this part. So I have, ooh. The glittery cat ears, very cute. And then I have this like bow tie. I don't know if I'll wear this. And then the tail. <laughs> and then let me open up the tutu. Ooh, okay, cute. I decided to get black because my sweater is white. So I thought like black and white vibes would be cute. And then this is kind of like eye catching with the glitter to it. And I think this one's actually pretty sturdy. I was a little worried it wouldn't be sturdy enough to hold up the cats, but I think it will be. And then I will just like use bobby pins or safety pins and literally just put the cats like all on this skirt. I feel like it'll come together once I have it all done, but explaining it right now probably sounds a little crazy. Hopefully I will finish the arm of the sweater, which is the last thing I need to get done today. And then I can show you guys the whole costume. Oh my gosh, guys, I just got done sewing the last sleeve into my sweater. So it is officially done. I am so excited to go try it on and show you guys. I haven't tried it on yet with it completed, so I will go ahead and show you real quick. Let me just flip it inside out though. Well, to the right side because right now it's inside out. Oh wait, <gasps> no! I sewed it inside out, this sleeve. Okay, BRB, that's sad. Okay, crisis averted, I just fixed it. I actually forgot that you keep the sleeve on the right side and have everything else on the wrong side. So that is why when I flipped it to the right side, the sleeve was showing wrong. But now, yes, it is showing correctly, thank goodness. And I was actually able to salvage everything. Like I didn't accidentally cut the main body panel when taking the sleeve apart, which is good because I was a little worried about that. If I had poked a hole in it, I think I would have just given up. <laughs> but okay, let me show you guys the finished sweater. I knew this whole sweater process was going too smoothly. Like I was waiting to make a mistake because honestly, this whole process has been super smooth so far. This was the first like mistake I made. So I highly recommend this tutorial because look at the finished sweater. Oh my goodness, you guys. I am so obsessed with it. I'm so excited to go try it on. But here are the final dimensions. It looks perfect, honestly. Um, it definitely helped that I used that other sweater as a guide, but I was a little nervous making the sleeves because I didn't know if they would be too long. But it actually looks like it turned out perfect. 
And I love how they puff up and then you have the cuff at the end to really hold it all together. But yeah, let me go try this on. And then the last part of this is to just attach all of the loaf cats. Ah, oh my gosh, guys, look at the sweater. It turned out so good. I was really nervous that I got the dimensions messed up, but it fits so perfectly. And wait, let me raise the desk up. A little more so you guys can see like look at the sleeves I think the sleeves are my favorite part of it and like yeah I feel like it's the perfect size if I were to redo it again in different yarn which I definitely want to do I think I would keep the dimensions exactly the same okay so now here's the exciting part we can finally attach all of the cats and I can show you guys the final costume look with like the tutu the ears and everything so stay tuned let me go do that real quick Let's add more. Okay, I'm officially done attaching the cats and honestly, this was exactly what I had in mind. I can't believe the sweater came to life and I think the sweater took me like four days total and I did like dedicate a lot of hours to it. I would say like eight hours a day for those four days. So. 32-ish hours total, but it was totally worth it. I love this costume so much. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna go put on the rest of the costume. Okay, slight change of plans. I realized the cat sweater was way too hot. So realistically, I had to pick something else for the top because I just couldn't do it. So the sweater is not for nothing though. I will definitely wear it for Halloween when it's chilly. It's perfect for a Halloween costume, but for the game show, not gonna wear it. I decided to go for the backup option. So let me lower the desk. This is the backup option that I was thinking of. So it's really just like a plain black tank top and this sparkly tutu. So this sparkly tutu, I literally just got off Amazon and I attached the cat that I also got from Amazon with safety pins and yeah this is what we're gonna go with. I feel like it still draws attention and is creative and still screams like crazy cat lady but it's just a little bit more friendly for filming and I won't overheat. You guys know I always overheat so I think wearing the sweater would not have gone well but yeah I'm excited. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing my vision come to life with this cat sweater. I'm sad that I didn't get to actually wear it for the game show, but I definitely made the right decision because I would have totally been too hot. Hopefully by the time Halloween rolls around, it'll be cold here so I can actually rock my sweater as a Halloween costume. But if anything, I'll take off the cats and just rock the sweater during the winter time because I'm absolutely in love with it. I already have other Karen cakes in my cart because I want to make another one. But all right, until next time, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!